Welcome back, boxing fans. More disappointment. Obviously, today we've had some tragic news. Obviously, the passing of Hollywood legend Carl Weathers and the passing of a very good, young, promising Japanese fighter who passed away after being in what potentially could be fight of the year. Uh, a very great back and forth fight. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It was a truly exciting match and very a disappointing sort of ending to that fight. Uh, it very was very reminiscent of Maxim Dadashev and, and kind of the same way that that fight ended with him. And when he left the ring, you could see that he was in some serious trouble. And, and this was the same situation. And then obviously uh, we know how that unfolded, unfortunately. But more disappointing news is obviously uh, the passing of the heavyweight undisputed unification fight that's coming up or was going to be coming up pretty soon. And that obviously was between Fury, the WBC world champion, and Usyk, the WBA, IBF, and WBO world champion. This would have been the first time that we had an undisputed heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis almost three decades ago. Um, so it truly is disappointing. And I know real boxing fans are, are disappointed with the way this is. Obviously, we know that Fury sustained a cut in training. And a lot of people are thinking it's a conspiracy, thinking this, thinking that. I mean, that's above my pay level. So, you know, the reality is the fight is going to be delayed and hopefully still happen somewhere down the road. This happens in boxing. So, you know, instead of pointing fingers and making it bigger than it needs to be, let's just assume it is what it is. An injury during training, the fight is being delayed, right? In the meantime, there's discussion that potentially Usyk may fight his uh, IBF mandatory, um, Hergovic. And that's a great fight. That's a fight I would be excited to see uh, as a replacement fight for Fury and Usyk. Hergovic and Usyk would be a very good fight, entertaining. Obviously, Hergovic has been waiting for a long time to get his opportunity to fight for the world titles. And we know that regardless of who won between Fury and Usyk, that IBF title was probably going to be stripped off of them, which is more of this sanctioned body bullshit that we have to put up with day in and day out. Uh, you know, the IBF being douches like they consistently are. But this kind of makes things okay because now we have an easy opponent to put into that fight. And for Usyk, this is a, a quality opponent, an undefeated Olympian, a guy who's his IBF mandatory, right? You got to fight your mandatories, especially when you're not unifying. And this is just another example of that. Uh, for me, obviously... You know, I'm excited that the Fury Usyk fight was happening, but at the same time, I'm not a big fan of Fury or Usyk. So I'm not super disappointed that I'm not going to get to see the fight. I didn't expect the fight to be really that entertaining. Uh, some people that follow and subscribe to my channel were disappointed with my calling uh, Usyk and Fury boring fighters uh, in a video where I was talking about. Uh, boring fighters in the sport of boxing and it's nothing to do with race or ethnicity or nationality there's boring fighters literally in every weight division from every country and every ethnicity so it just is what it is that was just examples of some fighters I find boring um, and Bivol's another one right so you know people that always want to talk about race you know they do what they do so you know we don't need to focus too much on them but the reality is, you know, me saying that you and Fury are boring is just my opinion. You may feel differently. Uh, that's fine, right? Everyone has difference of opinion when it comes to boxing. That's why this is fun for us to get back and forth and have discussions regarding the sport. Um, as far as a potential Usyk Hergovic fight, it's a fight I'm kind of a little more interested in seeing, right? In truth, because Hergovic, I. Obviously, I think he's going to be a more aggressive fighter in that fight um, compared to what Fury probably was going to be in. He's also primed and ready for a big step up, so he's very hungry. Whereas Fury, we don't know really what his motivation is at this point of his career, whether it's just money or, or whatever it may be. 
uh, with Hergovic, we know he's coming in hungry to try to reach his dreams. Is he as good as Fury? Probably not. But at the same time, everyone deserves their opportunity. So this is potentially an opportunity for him. So I look forward to that fight if it does happen. As far as Fury and Usyk down the road, hopefully things go smoothly so that both of these guys can get that fight on the resume. It's a great fight. Some people are speculating that the reason Fury sort of is walking away from this is because he's rather he'd rather put himself in position to fight the winner of Ngannou and Anthony Joshua in what inevitably would be a bigger pay-per-view fight than Fury and uh, Usyk, right? And, and we all know that to be true. So that's part of what people feel why Fury is, you know, creating this issue and, and got cut on purpose and also that he could chase a potential AJ mega fight. And that may be true. You know, as I say, it's above my pay grade, so I'm not going to speculate one way or the other. But the truth is, if Fury does fight AJ for his WBC title uh, and skips Usyk, uh, I mean, it's disappointing, obviously, as far as legacy and hardcore boxing fans and for unification and undisputed. But at the same time, a fight that is going to be bigger globally, get more attention, uh, and probably just be better for the sport in the sense that more casual sports fans are going to be intrigued by the fight, would be Fury versus Anthony Joshua, especially if AJ is able to definitively beat Ngannou impressively. But we will see how this unfolds. Uh, it is what it is. You know, this is boxing. So when fights fall through because of injuries and things of this nature, you know, you can't get too bent out of shape with it. It's par for the course, right? Obviously, we have a lot more big fights happening. So losing this fight is disappointing. But at the same time, it's not even a fight that really a lot of American boxing fans were even talking about or even really that interested in. Actually, I saw people today who were super excited that the fight fell through because they didn't want a white Caucasian fighter to become undisputed during Black History Month. <laughs> oh my God. You can't make this shit up, really, you can't. As if somehow, you know, <laughs> it was scripted that way, right? Like these are two European fighters and they're fighting in the Middle East. It has nothing to do with America. But somehow people always need to make it about Black America, and racism, right, you know. But obviously, uh, you know, it is disappointing. Uh, I am disappointed, mostly because it's gonna be a big card in Saudi Arabia. We saw the money they put towards promotion, promoting it. Uh, the video that they had, which was like a movie trailer, uh, super cool. I mean, a lot of money and a lot of effort went into that trailer. It's definitely a, a good one, kind of like obviously the zombie apocalypse one that they did in the last big fight. Uh, the one thing you can say about the Saudis is they're not afraid to spend money to make money and they're not afraid to put money into advertisement to, to push these fights. So I appreciate that. I appreciate the effort. Uh, I was <laughs> excited to watch the video. It did not disappoint. Unfortunately, the fight is disappointing, which, you know, I'm not so surprised about that. But leave your comments below. What would you like to see Usyk do now? Would you like to see him fight his mandatory in Hergovic? Get that out of the way so that when he does fight Fury, they could actually do their two-fight deal without any titles being stripped from them, which would be great in a sense. Or would you rather he just wait around until that fight can be rescheduled? Uh, and do you think that really Fury is still going to move forward to fight Usyk? Or is he going to direct himself more towards a potential Anthony Joshua fight, depending on what happens with AJ and Ngannou. Leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Uh, and you can look forward to these global news presentations uh, regularly as part of my new channel. So check it out. I have quite a few new videos coming out consistently that are going to be a consistent part of my channels. Obviously preview shows, post shows, prospects, Donkeys of the Month, uh, which obviously, you know, John Boxing has uh, really nominated himself as the main person for that for that designation. Uh, obviously, historical figures in the sport, top prospects, 
and obviously global boxing news. So check these videos out. Tell me which ones you like more. And, uh, you know, that will obviously impact what I do moving forward and which videos I make. So thanks for watching. Peace out. If you're not subscribed, remember to subscribe, like, and share. I would appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Peace out and enjoy this weekend's boxing.